Have you seen any beautiful, loving, and sensual, and romantic at the same time movies lately? I have. Lady Shatterley's Lover. This is based on a book. I haven't read the book. And the movie came out on Netflix back in November. I just found out about it, so I just saw it. And um, I want to give you my review and my impression. For those of you that are going to find this without following my channel, normally here I speak about sexual growth. Every now and then I will review TV shows or movies that I consider are related to our topic. In this case, the reason I'm deciding to cover this particular movie with a coaching review is because I found it a breath of fresh air. The movie is beautiful and uh, the scenes are really uh, <laughs> explicit. <laughs> at one point, at least, I was wondering, wow, by the sounds of it, this kind of feels real. <laughs> like, are we sure those guys were not really having sex? But, you know, so here's the story. Lady Shatterley, uh, Connie, or Constantine, uh, she is a uh, young woman getting married to a man that is not her type, okay? She's marrying somebody who makes her feel safe, who gives her all the comforts that she needs. So basically, she follows the recommendations for all women, marry somebody that can offer you the safe, protected, well-provided life, and that's it. That's happiness. Uh, though she is free-spirited. And she is very much alive. Now, what happens is that it starts pretty early on with their marriage. And right in the first night, uh, there at least the scene doesn't show them having sex. So uh, for somebody that is a free-spirited and passionate young woman, not necessarily in the over-sexualized way... That's what I like about this movie. It is not overdoing things. Okay, it's showing a lot of sex scenes. It's for the modern, <laughs> present-day, porn-oriented um, society. <laughs> but it's not overdoing things. So, um, she is alive, passionate, in the classical sense. And all... Of straight from the start, from the beginning, her marriage is not headed into that direction. She's really into a bumpy ride with her marriage, so she gets into very pragmatic, really heavy, administrative details of married life, though the movie doesn't cover so much. So the whole middle juicy part is based on her love affair, which, by the way, is first encouraged by her husband. You're going to have to look at the movie to find out why. So, what I like about this movie, number one, the character, none of the characters have had plastic surgery. Obviously, they needed people that are natural, so not enhanced in any way. Um, I think she wears a wig in the movie because in real life the actress is um, different. She's gender neutral, by the way. She doesn't go with the binary male-female. So, actually, it's they. And this is my mistake here. All the actors are natural, okay? They're not Botoxed. They're not lifted with faces and all of that. None of that. Not even the older, uh, the maid. The actress's name escapes me right now. But I've seen her in other movies when she was much younger. Gorgeous woman. This actress hasn't gone for plastic surgery. And whenever I see a woman aging and confident enough to actually age and, and show herself like that on screen and everywhere else, I'm like, go girl or go woman. Because, I don't know, it's too much plastic going on, too much Botox around. So that's one thing that I really loved. No plastic surgery, no boob job, no nose job, no, none of that, okay? So the actors look like real human beings. One thing that I didn't like here, uh, but, you know, you can't really blame the person. The actress is really tall and really thin. 
And when I say that I didn't like it, I don't know the book. Maybe that's what the character in the book was like. But, uh, so she's really, really thin. Like, meatless, <laughs> basically. And I know that I've been watching videos on TikTok uh, with several fashion influencers or analysts. And they're announcing people and they're giving heads up to women especially that the curvy women era is era decade is coming to a conclusion uh, that many influencers that showed really big curves and all that are losing weight they're taking out their bbls brazilian butt lift because nowadays hollywood has switched again to the tall thin anorectic or anorexic model uh, as a woman that's lived her teens in the late 90s please let me give you a warning if you're not tall and thin don't become an anorectic the woman starring in this movie i think that's how she is but not everybody is like that and if you're gonna see the trend in hollywood going back to really thin skeletic you can skeletic i don't know that that's a direct translation from romanian skeletic um so you can see her ribs and all of that don't please have enough faith in yourself if you're curvy don't torture yourself don't torture your body i know that the first negative thing that i got because a lot of actresses back in the late 90s were like that um my hair thinned. I had a lioness's mane. Didn't have that after I went through really several years of starving myself and, and really torturing myself to be something that my body wasn't designed to be. So if I have any 18 year olds here or even younger, I'm not sure if I do because I think YouTube restricts my channel to underage uh, people, but any 18 year olds to 24 year olds, please. Have enough self-esteem and self-love to be you. Okay? Please do that. Like, the, the price long-term of that shit, anorexia, and, and trying to fit a model that your body was not naturally made for, totally, totally not okay. Totally toxic, totally detrimental to your well-being. I'm gonna come back to the movie now. <laughs> um, the romance here is some, though somebody that read the book that I saw, I have a personal Facebook, which is mainly in Romanian, so I don't promote it here, but on my personal Facebook, it was a Romanian woman that I know. She said that the movie honors the book. I haven't read the book, obviously, but I tend to, like I'm inclined to believe that the book also has more detail uh, or more dialogue, uh, not just the lovemaking scenes, it, d it does have, like the movie does have a scene which I loved, like two pieces, the rain scene. I'm going to let you check out the movie and get to it. I loved that scene a lot, like it went to my soul. You're going to wonder, okay, so she has great sex and that's why she falls in love with the guy or rises in love in this case. I really think the expression is more accurate. And that's why she jeopardizes her marriage. Well, I think yes. And that's because I believe that sex is not just a, it's not just a thing for the flesh. That woman is hot-blooded, alive, and intense, passionate sex with somebody that you're compatible with is... A, one of the beautiful expressions that we have in relationships. It should be there. Now, all my respects to women that marry men for safety, for comfort, for, you know, the protection of their offspring and so on. Like, all my respects to them. And they do that to the detriment of passion. They put passion on the second or third place. I definitely relate to Connie a lot. Mrs. Shatterley. <laughs> so I I like her and I'm built that way also. And I know that I couldn't, like I couldn't live in a dead marriage. A lot of women 
can because they believe and they know and they choose for themselves to put other things before passion, the joy of, of living intense moments. Um, that's one of the, like, I think that if you're going to look at this movie and think, well, she has sex and that's it. No, it's not. But you would, maybe the book honors this more. Okay, we get more insights into Connie's psyche, her way of being, how she feels alive with this guy as opposed to how she feels with her husband and all of that. Uh, probably a two-part series would have been more eloquent here in that sense. However, I do find it um, possible for some women to give up the safety, the all the the, the tedious prestige stuff and and reputation stuff. Though not to say because this movie actually has a very beautiful twist. When it comes to reputation, you're going to have to watch it though. But there are some women who will sacrifice the safe stuff, the mainstream stuff for a beautiful love story like that. I also relate to that. And I think that a woman would, not any kind of woman, a hot-blooded woman, an alive woman, a vibrant woman, would give anything to live a an intense, a beautiful, a passionate story as opposed to something for convenience. Other things that I loved about this movie, it is filmed genuinely outdoor, okay? English and then Scottish scenery, awesome. Uh, one pet peeve of mine with current movies is that they are filmed in sets and they are filmed with, I don't know, 6K cameras and it just doesn't give the story vibe visually speaking to the movie because some a lot of Netflix movies are so freaking clear that it's like it's false I'm used to the cameras in the old days where um, it, things were more refined you know the, the people look like people <laughs> they didn't look so artificial and the settings look natural and all of that so one thing that I loved about this movie is that it really is, I think, a real home where they film it, a real house, English house, real natural settings, all of that. So, um, yeah, sure, maybe they had sets for the cottage, watch the movie, but the river scene, the rain scene, the outdoor scenes, natural, naturally looking. So that goes to my plus with people look like people, not like enhanced, you know, pimped faces and pimped bodies and all that. So they look like people and the settings, they look real also. I'm not so sure about the Venice settings. I'm, I'm really not sure about all of them, but um, they showed really like very few minutes were covering that part. So I'm guessing it's... Yeah, it wasn't so bad. I didn't. It didn't strike me as false or artificial. So that's it, really. It's a light movie. It's a inspirational one for, <laughs> for for you know for romance, for juicy, intimate sex scenes, and it's a a testament to why it's important to be in a long term partnership with somebody that you're really compatible with. You you feel like them. You have sex like. <laughs> You know, so instincts are compatible, emotions are compatible. I think the thinking also, because both of them, you're going to have to watch the movie, they also think alike. You know, their their hearts are the same, but also their minds. So uh, it's really important. There aren't many dreamers out there. I know I'm one of them, an idealist and all of that. It's written in my in my stars. It's really written. Intimacy, partnerships, they gotta have romance. They gotta have ideal love, otherwise it's not gonna happen. So that's why I decided to cover this movie. Check it out, and when you get to the rain scene, please come back to this video and drop me a comment, let me know what you thought of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna see you with other videos coming soon, more serious ones. This one's a, a leisure break. Bye.